Suzuki launched a legacy when it introduced the world to the GSX-R750 back in 1985, and the factory has added to that family tree with the release of the new in 2016 GSX-S1000, and built upon it once again in 2017 with the GSX-S1000, the ABS-equipped version of same, and the S1000F. Consider this bike the streetwise cousin to the more race-centric GSX-R range. The GSX S1000 does more than bear a passing familial resemblance however, it actually shares parts and technology with its motive relative, including the 999cc engine used in the GSX R1000. Set up for street domination, this bike proves that the GSX legacy is alive and well. Designed the factory took a rather minimalist approach with a sheet metal on the base S1000 plastic or whatever, and that keeps the bike looking lean and aggressive, which is appropriate for its mission as a street fighter. Leaving no opportunities to waste, Suzuki designed the leading edges of the front fairing to act as scoops to force air through the radiator. The overall design stays close to its superbike roots with the all-up front visual balance and a Spartan rear end that leaves us with an unimpeded view of the inverted front forks and rear running gear. In a move to make the family somewhat more tour greater than http colon slash slash www.topspeed.com slash motorcycles slash tourers slash ke2669.html worthy. Suzuki introduced the F model that carries a rather full front fairing as far as sport bikes go, anyway, and clear windscreen that offers rider and passenger a modicum of protection. A nice, deeply scalloped seat cradles the rider and keeps him contained, but the tapered pillion pad can't really call it a seat may leave the passenger at the mercy of the throttle. Given the nature of the potential throttle response that this bike has, this is not just an academic concern, so y'all better hang on, kids. The small headlight housing on the non-fared versions and even smaller LED taillight and turn signals keep the lines clean as the designers so painstakingly sculpted it, while the F model carries its headlight tucked away within the pointed entry of the fairing. That detail that makes the bike look just a trifle aggressive, even angry, when viewed from the front a feature which is sure to endear it to fans of the genre. The rider triangle is decidedly more relaxed than its racing brother, the GSX-R. Seat and footbag position remain typical of the jockey position, but the handlebars are considerably higher and closer to the rider's body. Not only does this allow for a relaxed, upright riding position, but it leaves room to lean forward when you feel the need to tuck in a bit so you wind up with the best of both worlds. Chassis a twin spar aluminum frame serves as the lightweight bones for this family. Suzuki's choice for front suspension is the 43mm inverted front fork from Kybe, and it has fully adjustable preload settings for the damping and rebound strength. A single show a rear shock shares these adjustments and adds ride height to the list. Given the 32-inch seat height, this may be important to many prospective buyers. Cast aluminum wheels, an aluminum swing arm and lightweight, mono-block Brembo front brakes with ABS help keep the unsprung way down to improve suspension sensitivity and contact patch integrity. The ABS reads your wheel positions 50 times a second and modulates the braking pressure to ensure that you can brake with confidence, even in poor riding conditions. With dual 310mm brake discs up front, a single one in back, and opposed piston calipers with 432mm bores up front, you can be sure that you have enough stopping power to control this 450 plus pound beast. Drive a train Suzuki used the race inspired 999cc, 4 stroke, liquid cooled engine as a mill on this ride. The factory took the GSX R1000 engine and tuned it for the streets with a 44mm throttle body and new, streetwise cam profiles. Internal engine components also receive race upgrades in the form of the finite element material FEM engineering in the pistons, 
and the Suzuki composite electrochemical material SUM. These improvements reduce reciprocating weight with an improvement in heat transfer and reduced friction. Riders can sometimes be a bit intimidated by an engine like this, but the engineers conjured up for us an advanced traction system that monitors the drivetrain and intervenes as necessary to maintain control and prevent wheel slip, sort of like ABS, except it's for going instead of stopping. This system has three preset levels of sensitivity and intervention for various rider skill level slash riding conditions, and it can be turned off in its entirety for unfettered control of the machine. The Suzuki dual throttle valve uses a secondary butterfly within the throttle body to smooth out the transition between current engine speeds and demand at the right grip, and the idle speed control provides reliable starts and smooth idling, even in cold weather. Price the 2017 GSX S1000 base model rolls for a cool $9,999, while the ABS model fetches another $500. If you fancy the protection of the fairing and windshield, you will have to skin the checkbook for another 5 bills to cover the $10,999 tag on the F model, but ABS is included.